This is part 3 from the high voltage transformers videos. Um, now we're going to study what happens when we want to rectify the high voltage at the output. This is the transformer. It operates on a certain frequency. It can be 300 Hz, 1000 Hz, 16 kHz, 14, uh, 40 kHz. But now we need to rectify it often to get a DC voltage. Uh, first, you, you see, you often see in professional circuits, this filter. It's a P-filter, and this P-filter damps the frequency uh, on which the whole circuit oscillates very much. And that means that we here have, for instance, a 16 kilohertz uh, high voltage oscillation, but here uh, the oscillation um, has no ripple any longer. So the, the ripple is gone. And here we have a more or less pure uh, DC voltage um, without that disturbing um, sound that such a, uh, an oscill such a high voltage oscillator can um, make. So this is the filter. It filters out um, the frequency on which the oscillator works. And then we can rectify it with a bridge rectifier. You can also connect your bridge rectifier directly here. Of course, uh, there's no suppression from the, um, uh, the oscillator frequency in that case. But okay, sometimes this doesn't matter. For instance, when you have here 20 kilohertz, a 20 kilohertz oscillator, um, you will not hear any sound uh, when you connect such um, the output here to, for instance, a tube amplifier. You, you won't hear the sound because we can't hear 20 kilohertz. It's possible that you hear mixing products from that 20 kilohertz. Um, or noise, it's also possible, because uh, when the whole circuit oscillates on 20 kilohertz, there are also uh, sub-resonances, and this 20 kilohertz can mix with other frequencies, two frequencies that are audible. So that's the reason uh, why often such a filter is used. Um, here you will find the a DC voltage now, because it's rectified. But as I have um, told earlier, the problem is often that when the output is uh, loaded, the oscillator will stop. So when you develop such an oscillator for a professional uh, application, you must um, uh, develop it inclusive, including the whole DC circuit, because this DC circuit has an influence on the frequency. It loads the transformer, generally spoken, and it brings the resonance frequency down. So often when you make uh, a circuit on 40 kHz, connect this to it, to it, you will find that the whole circuit works on 20 kHz. Okay, uh, when you take here an electrolytic capacitor, it must withstand the high voltage, of course. And uh, I cannot advise to use electrolytics here, because a little amount of uh, voltage is stored in an electrolytic capacitor. When you charge an electrolytic capacitor with such a simple circuit, or such a simple circuit, you'll find um, that when you touch it, you get an, an extreme electric shock. So. Keep it all, um, keep the capacitance low. When you work on a high frequency, um, you have no, uh, you don't have a disturbing signal, so you don't need an electrolytic capacitor.